Hello, today let's look at using Jython, which is a, an implementation of Python that runs on top of Java in order to create a graphical user interface using Swing. So a lot of new terms and concepts there, we'll cover them all gradually. Um, by now you probably know how to create a program that has output using the print statement. And um, you may have wondered how you could have a more professional looking graphical user interface. So let's look at using Jython to do that. So I'm running NetBeans here and I can have NetBeans create a project. I can choose what type of project I want and I'll choose a Python project. And I'm going to give it a name, Jython Demo and I choose where I want the files to be stored. And instead of one of the versions of Python, I choose Jython here. Whoops, there we go. And say finish. And now it creates this program for me, uh, which I will replace with my own. And um, so you know about how to say print hello and I run that with Shift F6 and then the text to that comes out here in this little window. That's not what I want. I want a, another window to come up and if I'm running on a Mac I want it to look like a Mac program. If I'm running on Windows I want it to look like a Windows program. So for that I'm going to use something called Swing. And in order to use Swing I have to import some elements And the first I'm going to start with is something called JFrame. Now, you should go and learn about what these things are that I'm going to talk about. And if you go to the Java tutorial, which is at this address here, you can look at the really big index. You can search for frame. And there's a whole section in here, how to make frames main windows and this is talking about JFrames which is what we're doing. Alright so we've imported JFrame and now we can use it and here's how we use it. We're, we're gonna we're gonna create a JFrame and we'll put a little title in here. My first swing GUI. JFrame is part of Swing. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. And then I say frame dot visible equals true and that will show a little frame. So with these three lines of code we can have a window come up. So Shift F6 and I run and let's see what we get. Here's a window. Now it doesn't look like much, but I can resize it and it does say my first swing GUI. So let me show you how to set the size. You can do it here, size equals, and then choose some numbers here for the width and height. Now when I run, it should be a little bit bigger. Good. Now the next thing I want to do is put a button in here. Oops. So to make a button I need to import J button. And if you're looking in the Java tutorial, how to use buttons, there's a whole section on how to use buttons in here. So I import button and I'm going to create a button. And the text here is what goes on the button. I'll have it say push me. Now I want to add the button to the frame. So I can say frame add button. And now the button will appear in the frame. Let's see if this much works. Nope. Okay. I forgot to do something. Okay, that didn't work because 
I'm supposed to add the button before I make the frame visible. Let's try again. Good. Now we have a big button here we can push. Now let's make something happen when we push it. What I'll do is I'll put a little space for a message at the top above the button. And to do that, I'm going to use something called a J label. And uh, they're very easy to use. And to create one, you just say something like, and initially, I don't want there to be any message appearing. I want a message to appear after I push the button. Um, so move this down again and I'm going to add the message to the frame but I need to put it in a special place so you need to learn about layout managers. There's a, a, a layout manager lays out components in the graphical user interface and uh, what I'm going to do is use a border layout and it has north, south, east, west, and center and that's where you can put things. And when we added the added the button it went to the center because that's the default. When I add the message I'm going to put it in the north section. Okay, and let me just have the message say hello and we'll just see if this much works. So we should see hello and then a button below it. Okay, good. So you're seeing the border layout. This is the north part, this is the center part, this is west, east, south. And if you have nothing in uh, an area, then the center expands to use up all that space. Okay, so we want the message to change when we push a button. So here's what we have to do. We have to create, we have to create a function, and I'm going to call it react because it's going to react to the button push and it gets past an event and what we're going to do in this method is change the text of the message to thanks for pushing the button and now when we create the button we say action performed equals React, which means when the button is pushed, call the React function, and the React function will set the text. Let's see what happens now. Okay, this is empty as we wanted. This button is here. Let me push it, and there it is. It says thanks for pushing the button. Okay, let's review. We're using Jython, which is a special version of Python that runs on Java. And NetBeans supports Jython. We created a Jython or a Python project and told it to use Jython. And in order to make a graphical user interface, we're using a feature of Java called Swing. And I showed you the Java tutorial and how to look up how to use a frame and a button and a label. And I told about a layout manager called Border Layout that helps you position things inside your window. And we used Center and North. And I showed you how to create the frame, give it the title that appears here, set the size, this is 300 across and 150 down, and creating a button that says Push Me and has an action that gets performed when it's pushed. In this case, the action changes the text of the message to this. And then we add the button to the frame. Then we create the label. It's initially got an empty message. And we add the message to the north part of that border layout. Then we make the frame visible. And there it is. So go learn more about Swing and Jython and have fun making graphical user interfaces for your Python programs.